guys, so I know it's been a while since I've done a blog. I've been pretty busy, I've just moved house and I've been overseas for a while. But I'm really keen to get back into videos, hopefully on a weekly basis. I didn't know really where to start off again, so I thought I'd start off with my favourite makeup product of all time, which is the red lipstick, which I believe is a classic product which every woman or girl should own. Um, I wear red lipstick pretty much on a daily basis, so I have quite a lot of them. I probably have about 50 at the moment. Um, if you think a red lipstick's just a red lipstick, you're wrong. There's actually a lot of different tones of red and a lot of different uh, textures, and I really just want to show you what I think are some of the best red lipsticks out there on the market at the moment. Um, also, some other red lipstick, other red uh, lip products. So I thought I'd just show you through my lipsticks first, just some of my favourites. Um, start off with, this is MAC Ruby Woo. Yep. <laughs> um, it's a really vivid bluish toned red. Uh, it's incredibly matte. It's actually a little bit drying, but if you put a lip conditioner on your lips first, it's actually... Um, a really really great red lipstick. Uh, it's very very long lasting. Uh, it will probably stay on your lips for a good three or four hours before you have to reapply. Um, I'll just do some swatches of all the products as I go along just so you can see what they look like. So that's the Ruby Woo. As you can see it's really bright. It's almost a fluorescent red um, if that makes sense. So, uh, this is one of the red lipsticks you can buy from MAC, but MAC do so many great red lipsticks. Uh, so they're one of my favourite places to go for red lipsticks. Uh, the great thing about MAC is if you're unsure about wearing red lipstick and you haven't really done it before, the makeup artist can put it on you so you can see if it's going to look good when you've walked out of the shop and you actually have to wear it. Um, so that's that. Um, I thought I'd follow that up with some lipsticks which are about half the price of MAC and are actually quite similar. Um, Chi Chi, believe it or not, make amazing red lipsticks, um, especially matte. Um, this one's called Exhibitionist. It's a, again a very vivid uh, red lipstick, um, very matte and it's very similar to Ruby Woo. So I thought I'd just show you them side by side. That's the Ruby Woo. And that's the Exhibitionist. Exhibitionist is a little bit brighter and it's a little bit more orange toned. Um, but it's the same quality, I would say. And this one's about $18 and the MAC one's about $35 Australian dollars. Um, and this is another great one from Chi Chi. This one's called Boy Magnet. Um, it's a slightly darker one. It's a bit more of a blood red. Um, but it's also very matte. Um, the great thing about the Chi Chi uh, matte lipsticks is they're actually a lot more creamier than the MAC ones and they go on a lot, they glide on a lot easier. So I'm just going to show you that one. So actually that's probably actually closer to the Ruby Woo. But all of these um, Chi Chi ones are very vivid and they're very, very matte. Um, that one was actually one of the first red lipsticks I ever bought in this packaging which may look really cute in the leopard but it was terrible cardboard packaging I don't know what they were thinking not exactly the best idea um, anyway moving on this one is a Chanel red lipstick because Chanel make amazing red lipsticks uh, this one is called it's color 65 called fire um, it's the Hydra Base lipsticks which is one of their classic ones Chanel really changed the texture of their lipsticks. It's quite a, what you consider a standard lipstick texture. Um, it's creamy, it's not too matte, it's not too shiny. Um, this red is pretty much a neutral red. It's neither really orange or really blue toned. Um, has typical lipstick smell. Um, but if you're looking for just a basic red lipstick, Chanel do great ones and it's just nice to have a Chanel red lipstick just nice packaging that I, I'm always sold on the packaging um, so for another amazing piss packaging 
This is Yves Saint Laurent's Rouge Volupte in colour 17 Red Muse. This is an amazing red lipstick. Not only is the packaging fantastic, but the product inside is just as good. Um, so Red Muse, I'm pretty sure it's called, number 17 anyway. Um, this has been the catwalk colour. Oh, hang on. I didn't swatch the Chanel. Sorry. There's the Chanel. <laughs> yeah, so just a basic red lip. Um, so this one has been the colour that they've been using on the catwalks for Yves Saint Laurent for the past year. It's a really cult colour. Um, this one is not like the other ones. It's it's one of those really, really glossy lipsticks you get, which is almost like lip gloss, um, but in a stick. So I want to show you what that's like. There it is there. You can't really see very well when I'm putting it on. But it's really, really, sh it's really creamy and shiny. And again, it's a pretty neutral red. Um, this is, yeah, it's amazing colour. I love these also because they've got a little mirror on the top and it's great for reapplying if you don't want to carry a mirror in your bag. Um, the only downfall with these lipsticks is I have quite a few of them and because the, um, the product is so creamy and it's not as solid as a normal lipstick, they don't wind very well. You, there's no point of you winding it up because you won't get it down again. You have to push it down. So try to just wind it up as you go along. But um, surprisingly for how creamy and shiny this um, lipstick is, it's very long lasting and has a very rich colour payoff. So very good one to get. So you're not just paying for the packaging, you're paying for a great product. Um, next is one that you can't always get them in Australia, but if you hunt hard enough or you go on eBay, Anna Sui make amazing red lipsticks. This one is Sui Rouge um, in colour 450. Um, it looks again, it's again a very vivid um, red, slightly more pinky tone. The thing I like about this is it looks to be quite solid, but if I just apply it at the top there, just there, it's very sheer. Um, very, very sheer. It feels like a really nice creamy balm. It actually feels quite waxy. Um, so if you're not, you know, if it's the daytime and you not really feel like you're a red lipstick person and you don't feel like wearing a full on red lipstick one day, it's nice to have something a little bit lighter and a little bit more sheer. So, and the thing I love about Anna Sui lipsticks is not only that they've got the little rose on top of each um, lipstick container, um, but they smell like rose water which is really nice touch. All their products do, even their foundations and their powders and everything. Um, yeah. So these are two more lipsticks I have, but I've used up most of the product, so I put them in these little plastic containers. Um, to start off with, this is one that I'm going to compare to the Yves Saint Laurent, and it's actually one by Maybelline. It's called Royal Red. Um, I was told about this from a friend. There's a little brush. Oh, it has black lipstick on it. Alright. Anyway, um, yeah, I was told about this from a friend um, that it was comparable to the Yves Saint Laurent 17 Red Muse. So I'm just going to apply it here on the side. It's just there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you can't really tell too much from these swatches, but um, uh, I'm just trying to give you an idea of the colour, but I'm just telling you that they are very good li red lipsticks. Um, the good thing about this is Yes, I do believe it is equal to the quality of the Yves Saint Laurent one and you're only paying about $15 as compared to $55 for an Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. So if you're not really that bothered about fancy packaging, then this is a great way to go.